G'day everyone, today I want to show you how to make a dancing jellyfish in a bottle. Let's check out what we're going to need. You'll need a bottle of water that's completely full. I'm using a 2 litre bottle here, you could use a smaller bottle though. We also need a cup of water for testing. We need a pen lid and some blue tack. We need a plastic bag, I'm using the leftover from my UFO. Some tape and some scissors and having a towel around is going to be good in case we make a mess. The first step is to make our jellyfish, which we're going to make out of our pen lid. Now to do this, I'm going to cut a strip of this plastic and wrap it around the jellyfish like a skirt. I'm then going to cut it into strips so it hangs down like tentacles and keep it all attached with my tape. Now that my plastic's attached, I'm just going to cut it into little strips to form the tentacles. Now I've got my little jellyfish. Now I need to prepare my jellyfish to go into the water. The first thing I need to do is close up the hole at the top of the pen lid. We want that to be completely airtight, so I'm just going to cover it with a small piece of blue tack. Just make sure you've got enough to trap in all the air. Next, I'm going to put a large piece of blue tack on the other end of my pen lid. This is going to weigh it down and help it to stand upright in the water. The amount of blue tack we're going to use here is going to vary a bit for each person. And this is where we're going to use our cup of water to test. I'll show you what I mean in a second. For now, I'm going to grab a chunk of blue tack and stick it on the bottom of my pen lid. So you should now have a jellyfish that looks a little bit like this. Before we can put our jellyfish into our bottle of water, we need to make sure that it's at the correct weight. If it's too heavy, it's just going to sink straight to the bottom. If it's too light, it's going to stay at the top and not dance up and down. The way we're going to test this is by using a cup of water. We're going to drop it in and we want the jellyfish to sink down until the water comes up to the bottom of our bit of blue tack on the top there. That's when we know that it's at the right weight. We're going to change the weight by adjusting the amount of blue tack on the bottom. If it bobs up too far, we're going to add some blue tack. If it sinks down too far, we're going to take some away. So let's see what happens. Mine worked almost perfectly first time. That's never happened before, trust me. But you may have to play around with the amount of blue tack that you add or take away to get it to float just at that right part. The other thing you want to make sure of is that you drop your pen lid straight down because we're trying to trap some air into our pen lid here. That's why we sealed it up at the top. So when you've got it sitting so that the water comes up to close to the bottom of that blue tack on the top, we're ready to move on to our bottle. Now that we know our jellyfish is the correct weight, it's time to put it into the bottle. Simply unscrew the lid and carefully put your jellyfish into the top. Remembering we want to try and trap that air bubble in the pen lid, so make sure you put it in straight up and down. You want to make sure that your bottle is completely full. You can see a little bit of water spilling out of mine, that's what I want. We don't want any air trapped in the top of the bottle. If you do, this effect may not work. So you might need to use some water from your cup just to fill it up. When you put the lid on, a little bit should spill over the outside. That's why I've got my towel. Once your jellyfish is in, carefully put the lid on, making sure not to trap any of the tentacles. And now we're ready for our jellyfish to dance. To do this, it's simply a matter of squeezing the bottle. As I squeeze, you can see my jellyfish starts to move up and down. So if I let go, it floats back to the top. As I squeeze in, my jellyfish starts to drop down towards the bottom. And you've now made a dancing jellyfish. Let's talk about the science of what's happening here. What's happening here has all to do with pressure. When we squeeze the walls of the bottle, we're increasing the pressure inside there because we've got all of that material and we're trying to make the space that it fits in smaller. Now most of our bottle is full of water and water's fairly incompressible, meaning it's really hard to squash together, which is why I can't just squash this whole thing with my hands. But what we do have is a small pocket of trapped air in our pen lid and air is much easier to squash together. So when I squeeze it and reduce the amount of space, that air pocket gets squashed down and gets smaller. What that means is that it loses some of its buoyancy or its ability to float because it's all squashed together. And as we do, our pen lid drops down. When I release the pressure and let it go, that air bubble can expand again, increasing its buoyancy, and our jellyfish goes shooting back up to the top. If I get the balance right, I can keep my jellyfish dancing up and down in the middle of my bottle. I hope you've had fun following along today, made yourself a cool little jellyfish pet. 
and I'll see you in the next video.